Hello to everyone. This is Joanna and I am back. And I do want to apologize for my little mini fib because I said that I wasn't going to do a video on the things that I was getting because I was going to exchange these two candles and I was going to return this soap right here and get a, another soap in its place. I also took back the um, little heart pocket back holder because I got that for someone um, who didn't have it and then they ended up finding one because I was going to send it to them but I didn't need to because I didn't really care for the heart. Y'all know that my favorite was the butterfly. So what they did was one of my little butterflies that I have here, they went ahead and didn't even exchange. So I returned the soap because as y'all know, um, the last haul or two back that I did, I said that I had bought four soaps and then on my way out the door, I spotted the white t-shirt and I bought it by itself. That bugged me. So I returned it, got a little gift card, and then went ahead and just did the four. So I got $8 and some change off of the 20 for that. And then I went ahead and they just exchanged out the heart for this because I had two of these in my basket anyway. And they said that they could only do one return on a gift card. And it would be easier if I had something the same cost as the pink one. So I went ahead and got another butterfly because y'all know that I love this. So I'm going to share with you what I got. The first thing I want to share is what I saw from Miss Cynthia just last night. I hadn't seen anyone have this but her. So of course I went in our store because you know that I wanted this. And I told her and I posted it. She is the first and only person that I have seen with this. And guys, this is $14.50. Um, I was wondering if it was going to be $19 or $16. You can get this with your rewards. So, um... If you did not know, um, I disclosed how you can get rewards in an area where you do not have the app. They did change it over time and some people had to do some work. Like in my case, at the time when we had the app, it was only in two places at that time. Chicago was one of them. I used to live in Chicago. And so I would put our zip code in like it said to do and I'd be told it's not in your area, it's not in your area, which a lot of you get, you know, when you do that. So one day I was nosy and I entered in 60606. Y'all have heard this story already. So the short way around what I'm saying is I found out that I could use rewards when I ordered because I ended up talking to somebody um, on the phone from corporate and I said, you know, why do we not have the app? And they let me know that, you know, I happened to have had some items in my basket at that time that I had attached rewards to, but I wasn't aware that I could use them. And she had let me know. So I waited a whole year before I disclosed this, guys. And then I came on here and did a video. That is my one and only little tiny YouTube claim to fame is that I disclose that because I know a lot of people on here have a ton of followers. They have stores available to them. We don't have a lot of the stores that I love, but I did disclose that. So I know that they've changed and tweaked it over the years. They've added some places because where I live at, Warsaw, Indiana, and some other Indiana is a part of the rewards program. Now, I don't know why my area is not, and if not my area, Princeton is prominent, um, Indianapolis is prominent, Newburgh is prominent, and I know that places like McCracken and McCutcheon and all them places, McLean and all that, they shop here in our area. So I don't know why the rewards isn't available in the popular parts of Indiana as opposed to the rinky-dink places that they put it in because nobody had heard of those places. So they are very fortunate. But again, um, a whole lot of people just took credit for that at that time. And I did. I really waited a whole year before I disclosed anything to be sure that I was correct, that I was the only one doing that. So if you don't have rewards in your area, just try any zip code where the rewards are and it should work. In my case, though, it's taking a little bit more work because sometimes I have to strip things out of a basket. Like if I had eight rewards and I've used six, it'll still show eight and I have to sign back into the app. But anyway, if you want this, it can be gotten with rewards and I think that is wonderful. So the soaps that I went ahead and got, I kept my white t-shirt because I told her I just wanted to return it and get a credit because I usually never buy one loan soap, even when they're on sale. 
and y'all have seen this one already and then i got another smoked caramel and bourbon but the new one to me that i wanted and i got two of them here is this pink lilac and vanilla i love the candle in this um and it's fresh lilac bouquets dewy greens and vanilla blossom so i did go ahead and i got four soaps i thought i was gonna get six i went into my basket to see if i had any other ones in there and i didn't so i just went ahead and did the four and of course i got two butterflies the one was the exchange because i was gonna go ahead and buy two anyway these are my favorites i really love these um so i now have maybe four of these if i'm not mistaken and of course this beautiful item again because of mrs cynthia now the candles that i exchanged mine for were the sweet red mango and this is ripe mango sunny peach pineapple juice and then of course the pink pineapple sunrise i have some of the other candles around here but i was looking at about three or four other ones when i was in the store and here we have sweet pink pineapple palm sugar sun drenched nectar now the two candles that i exchanged one of them was that blackberry one because i said it smelled like weird and it was the one that had the shavings on it and i'm trying to think of what the other one was because i forgot i only bought four candles i kept my banana one i think i took back the sweet peony one because it didn't smell anything like sugar peony so i went ahead and got these two with these tops and then i had been seeing the strawberry pound cake gloss i was going to get that now i don't know if these are flavored because i haven't seen anybody talk about these but i did like the creme brulee i also don't know if these are frosted I have seen photos of these where people are showing them, but nobody's video that I have seen thus far has used them. So even if it's frosty, I'll use it with a lip liner. I'm a little less into frosty lip glosses than I was about 15 years ago. So I will use it anyway, but I opted for the creme brulee one. Our store did tell me that all of our stuff is going to be out tomorrow, but more of it will be out Monday, like the Easter and all that. So if it's not out in your area, if your store is like mine, you might have it tomorrow and you might have every single thing by Monday. I'm going to try to get some small items and some things. We'll see. So the last thing that I picked up that I absolutely could not leave there was this. I saw, I think I saw this on Miss Cynthia's page too, as well as a few other ladies. Usually, guys, I don't use the soap holders that much, but I'm going to be careful with this because I do like to display the soaps in these. And since this one's white and gold, I'm going to sit this one in here. I didn't even pay attention to which soap <laughs> goes in there because some of these holders hold specific soaps. But I think that is very, very pretty. I have one other soap holder that I have out for decoration that I don't necessarily use all the time. I will go get that and share it with you. Also, the video where I forgot to see about the notes on the praline honey scent, I'll have that as well. So just a small recap, when I was sharing the video where I was going to be using things up, I had this 2D Dulce praline um golden honey and praline and i did not know the notes because it isn't on the bottle but they are creamy caramel praline musk drizzled and golden honey so those were the notes on that and i had mentioned this when i said that i was going to be doing um some items that i was going to use up so one of the other soap holders that i have here is this one and i do have the full size candle in this as well this was the second mermaid that came out because the first mermaid um i think was just holding the dish so i have a candle holder in this these are the ones that are so pretty that i said if i had two i would use them as bookends as far as the candle holder these were 16.95 at that time so let's see if we've had a small little price adjustment here since we know everything has gone up this one is $18.95, so it was a $2 increase. I was trying to see. They both appear to be somewhat glittery. This one's a little bit less glittery than this one. I don't know if you can see. This one has like that same glimmer that you have on snow. But I do have to be careful because I always forget. These things are designed for certain um, soaps. 
And this one I have a Fall Lakeside Breeze. I have not used that, but I just thought the green was pretty in there. So that is it, guys. I just wanted to share with you what I got. Um, I did pick up a few things that I normally did not plan on getting, and I feel like I got some really nice things. So until the next time, everyone have a great day.